Yes! Wow! This is my 20 years old Game Boy. The last time I saw it was 10 years ago when I gave it to my younger brother. And he apparently did it well. I'm so glad he didn't sell it out. Thank you very much. For those who don't know this device, this is a Game Boy Color released in 1998. And I won this one 20 years ago when I was a kid at some creativity contest. Yeah, it still works. This was such a big part of my childhood that I decided I need to build my own. Because I can. And I already have a working prototype here. At least it was working a few minutes ago. Um, come on, virus, virus. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I got the working prototype here. And it should nicely fit inside the Game Boy Color. Probably not the speaker. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's work. For the case, I'm gonna use this brass plate, and I already have a template. <laughs> This is actually the first time I'm going to mill a brass plate, so I expect it's going to be a total disaster. Awesome. Definitely the hardest part going to be buttons. I have these tiny little ones. The idea is to use this small brass plate to create a platform to hold the buttons down and solder it to the base against the plastic buttons I printed out. I'm gonna try this refill oven to preheat uh, the piece of the piece of brass. So this refill oven thing worked, but I had really limited access to the components. So. Now I borrow this contact grill 
So I will preheat the plate from the bottom all the time and solder the components on the top. Perfect. Perfect. not fun at all but all the straps are in place so now it's time to put all the components into places and solder them I will start with the buttons no no <laughs> it fell apart Sounds and feels like a Game Boy, but looks like a vintage clock. Now it's time to wire all the components up with a thin brass wire.
Steampunk Game Boy is almost done. There is this tiny little thing left and it's gonna be so satisfying. Oh yeah! Hey, before I tell you if it works, there is something important I'm going to tell you. You might be wondering why I'm wearing the same page t-shirt all the time. No? Anyway, same page is a wonderful product that helps people around the globe to get connected. You know, the chats, video calls, documents, everything remote teams needs. I also use it to share my personal stuff. So if you want to stay effective and productive like me, make sure you're going to check out this wonderful product that helps thousands of people around the globe to be on the same page. And yes, I'm part of the design and development team. Now, does it work? Back to the workshop. Okay, moment of truth. Will it work? If you want to create the Game Boy, the flower, the heart, or any of my creations, go and check out my Patreon page. I post every model of resource, every tutorial I have for you to create. This was a really fun project to make. Much more demanding than I anticipated, but totally worth it. It had everything, a lot of new techniques to try and fail and learn, a lot of soldering, and of course, at the end, the result is just amazing. So satisfying. Thank you for watching. I want to say thank you, especially to my Patreons. Thank you for the support. I am Yuri Prowse, and now I have some games to play. See you next time.